and now it has given us this button to replace content. I'll click on this, changes committed, and there you go. Your topic, your explanation, and links. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to integrate AI into any existing application. And the application that I've chosen, think of it like a spreadsheet clone, Google spreadsheet clone. If you had to give Google spreadsheet AI capabilities, AI powers, then how would you do that? In this video, I'm going to break it down step by step for you right here. So without wasting any time, let's dive right into it. So this over here is the code base for my React based spreadsheet clone application. And uh, this is where it is running currently, localhost 3000. It's running on my local machine as of now. And I can do pretty much uh, all the things that you do in a Google spreadsheet, add data, etc. all those things. So if I have 100 here in the A column, 200 here, you can write uh, all these different A2 plus uh, B2 uh, this way and you get 300. So all these simple arithmetic formula, etc. all these things are actually working. So this is the complete uh, spreadsheet web application over here. So key features include spreadsheet management. You can dynamically add rows and columns. Uh, you have a sidebar navigation, as you can see over here. And then you have state management. So application uses React uh, React state management uh, to handle the data of uh, the spreadsheets. Okay, so we'll start off with this types.ts, this TypeScript file. Now this defines the structure of the spreadsheet, uh, the data including the cell, uh, the rows and the entire spreadsheet with the title and rows. Then we have this single spreadsheet component so inside source folder i have app folder with an app i have two components okay in the components folder one is sidebar dot typescript file in tsx and the second one is single spreadsheet so in my single spreadsheet component this handles the rendering and interaction of a complete single spreadsheet including adding rows and adding columns and these functions have been triggered with this registered with this on click event then i have another component which is my sidebar component which prepares the ui for navigating between different spreadsheets so if you have more than one spreadsheet so this is how you'll be able to handle it using this sidebar so this is this so i have majorly two components sidebar and single spreadsheet and as i move out uh, i have this page dot tsx which contains my main component now this main component manages uh, the state of multiple spreadsheets and handles the selection of uh, the current spreadsheet so how does this all work First of all, I have this main component, which initializes the state with a default spreadsheet. It renders the sidebar. It renders the single spreadsheet uh, with the state updates, and you'll be able to navigate and all the other components and functionalities basically come into the picture. That's it. All you have to do is run npm install and npm run dev. You'll be able to run your spreadsheet application in this manner. Now, going back to how to integrate AI into the application. So here are the three main steps that we'll follow in order to integrate AI into this spreadsheet application. The first one is integrate Copilot Kit into the front end. So what is this Copilot Kit? An open source AI platform that is specifically designed to integrate AI capabilities into your applications. You can integrate an AI chatbot, you can integrate an AI copilot text area, you know, you can integrate uh, uh, a complete assistant using in app agents uh, with the help of Langchain and LangGraph. So there are a bunch of things that you can do and they provide their own UI components that you can uh, quickly integrate into your front end and it'll, it'll all start working. So that is the first step. We'll use this copilot kit uh, framework and you have their bunch of different components as you can see in their quick start getting started guide over here then the second thing is we'll connect our application to internet so we'll provide internet access internet access basically means it'll, our application will be able to conduct web search using this tavili ai application so tavili ai if you check it this is your uh, platform to connect your llm to the web Okay, so whatever instruction that we'll provide to our application, it'll be able to conduct a web search on top of it and it'll give smart results. So it conducts, it goes through a bunch of web links and gives you the final output, uh, you know, with the help of the LLM. And obviously uh, we'll use the large language model from OpenAI. So this will be connected to the backend. And lastly, we'll define some custom actions. So whatever we are doing, whatever instructions that we are providing to our spreadsheet application, those should reflect in the actual spreadsheet rows and columns. Now, as part of the first step of adding Copilot Kit to the front end, 
First of all, you'll have to install these two packages, Copilot, uh, Kit, React Core, and React UI. Okay, and we'll import this Copilot Kit over here. So just simply paste this code snippet. Here I have imported the CSS from Copilot Kit UI. Okay, we have imported Copilot Kit, the sidebar component that it provides. And uh, this sidebar component is basically uh, the front end component, which will allow us to give instructions to our AI Copilot. So through this sidebar, we'll be able to interact with our OpenAI LLMs instructions. We'll talk about this in just a bit. And then we have defined this homepage component. Uh, first of all, it this Copilot kit, this component accepts a URL, uh, which interacts with the API server. Uh, we'll configure the Copilot kit API server in just a bit. Then it is rendering this sidebar component that we talked about. Lastly, you have to export this component that you have defined. So export default homepage. Now, if you come back up over here, you see that I am also uh, using this instructions in the homepage component. Uh, in the sidebar, I have to provide these instructions. Now, these instructions are basically system prompt that I have to provide. Okay, but there is, and I'm importing these instructions, but there is no instructions uh, file over here. So first thing is we'll create a file called instructions.ts over here. And in this, I will simply add the system prompt, which will further help and provide additional context to Copilot Kit, which will help it to perform and give you know correct results uh, based on our requirements. So this is the system prompt. Link to this will be given to you in the description. Uh, you have to add this over here, and then uh, I think this will work fine for you. Now the next thing that we have to do is plug the Copilot Kit into the application's state. So the single spreadsheet component that we have. So we'll work in this particular file. Now to achieve this, Copilot Kit offers different types of hooks, as you can see, use Copilot readable, use Copilot action. So these are the hooks that Copilot Kit offers, which will allow you to define different types of actions to be carried out. For example, I have used Copilot action. This hook is for providing actions uh, the Copilot can call. So if I want that a particular change needs to be made to uh, rows, okay, or something to be added to these rows, I will provide those instructions over here, which will further get into act, which will further be converted into those actions by this hook. Okay, and it has this generative UI uh, attached in the sidebar component itself. So all of these will be handled for us. All I need to do is simply copy, uh, first of all, import these two from react core. So I'll add this import use copilot action and use copilot readable from react core. And then I'll update this single spreadsheet component over here with th this use copilot readable. So use copilot readable over here. And I'll write that this is the current spreadsheet and I'll add it with JSON dot stringify uh, spreadsheet. That's it. Uh, I'll remove this and add a semicolon. So this will now become uh, the starting. This hook will provide the application state to our copilot. The next thing that we have to do is we need to add two actions to this uh, single spreadsheet component, which will run uh, when the user updates the spreadsheets data or when the user adds a new row. And one thing that we'll have to do before that is we'll uh, need canonical data, canonical spreadsheet data that transforms the data from one format to another. So basically uh, what we will get uh, is row like objects and uh, the system, the function, the component that we'll define is going to return an array of spreadsheet row objects so we'll cre quickly create inside our apps folder over here uh, we'll create another folder uh, not here uh, we'll create another folder here called utils and inside this we have to create a new file called canonical spreadsheet data dot ts here we'll simply paste the code so what does this code do it first of all uh, imports it first of all imports the spreadsheet row from the types file then it has two interfaces row like and cell like the canonical spreadsheet data this function this takes an array of row like objects as input and then further converts it into an array of spreadsheet row objects okay so it iterates over each row in the input for each row it creates a new canonical row and uh, then iterates over each cell in the row uh, to uh, further create a new object with the value property over here as you can see and pushes it 
to the canonical row so this ensures basically the consistent data structure uh, even if the input is undefined or has any sort of like missing data now the next step is to add those actions uh, using the use copilot action hook within the spreadsheet component so we'll come to the spreadsheet component over here import uh, all of this and finally we'll define our copilot action so for that we have the code snippet over here again the link to this copilot action will be provided okay this after you have imported all these things under your main props i'll have this entire code snippet now i have this suggest spreadsheet override action that returns a custom component okay so this is my custom component which is preview spreadsheet changes this accepts uh, the following as props for example i have the commit title the pre commit title the post commit title uh, and a commit function which will further reflect the changes this function updates our main spreadsheet itself next we'll create this preview spreadsheet changes component as well so we'll add uh, another file over here and we'll name it preview spreadsheet changes tsx okay and you paste this is my complete component over here now this preview spreadsheet changes component returns a spreadsheet containing the data generated from the request and uh, a button also okay with the pre-commit title that allows you to commit these changes to the main spreadsheet uh, table as well okay so this ensures that you are satisfied with the result that the ai copilot has returned and then further you want to commit those changes to the main spreadsheet okay and then we have the second action that we need to define so go back to the main spreadsheet single spreadsheet component so the the first action is this suggest a spreadsheet override based on the user task and then the second one is our append to spreadsheet so if i want to add rows and finally we'll add an action with the main component which creates a new spreadsheet when the user provides the instructions underneath this we'll add this use copilot kit action create spreadsheet so this creates a new spreadsheet okay preview spreadsheet changes so once you have uh, confirmed the changes it will reflect and uh, uh, it would be committed to the main spreadsheet make sure that you have imported these new canonical spreadsheet data and import the preview spreadsheet changes component as well okay so these are the components that we have to import this is done let's see how to integrate tavili web search engine and the llms uh, using openai api for this you'll need the api secret keys okay so first of all make sure that you have openai api key and tavili api key i have this dot env dot local so earlier when you'll you know clone the repo that i provided you it'll contain dot example so rename it to dot local remove the example part add your openai api key the model the tavili api key and then copilot kit cloud api key as well for that you will have to uh, apply over here cloud.copilotkit.ai now we'll configure our copilot kit backend we have configured the front end it's time to configure the backend now for this api configuration in your app folder create another folder api within the api folder create the folder copilot kit here i'll add two files one is route.ts and i'll add another one for tavili.ts now inside my tavili typescript this particular file i'll create a function that accepts the user's query conducts the research with the query uh, and using the tavili search api and then summarize the results using the openai gpt4 model and uh, the code the api the url configuration the backend configuration is done using this code snippet over here okay so the tavili search is going to be done using tavili api and summarize the results using the openai model and all of this will be done uh, using the research function that we are defining in the route.ts so this research is going to be conducted uh, and is provided to copilot kit over here so we'll add copilot runtime over here here this research action that we have defined this function takes the user's query conducts the research using the tavili api key and then provides the response in the right format using the openai model okay this part is done we have now integrated tavili as well as uh, our openai gpt4 model one other thing that you'll have to do is you'll have to change this url copilot kit 
and here you instead you will have to provide your copilot kit cloud api key okay so inside this all you have to do is public api key is equal to this i'm going to pick from process dot env dot next cloud copilot api key now we will simply run the application we'll see what are the errors that we're getting quickly resolve these so after you finish off uh, correcting all the import errors and making sure everything is right uh, this will now start working with this sidebar integration over here so let's quickly uh, add a bunch of things okay i will add let's say a topic column okay uh, then an explanation column and the links column then we can add for example if you want to quickly see how this is working i can simply add add a row over here so this should add a row over here new topic new explanation new links based on this okay this is fine let's remove this okay what we want is i'll add some topic names let's say attention mechanism uh rnn lstm okay and then we'll simply write uh, ask the ai copilot to explain these and add their explanations in their corresponding columns okay pick the topic from the topic column and add their explanations in their corresponding rows in the explanation column uh, add the referenced links in the links column okay this is the prompt that we have provided let's see what it does with it all right great it has appended so you see it has not overridden our spreadsheet but it has simply appended now let me ask it to replace it okay. add the explanations in the corresponding rows instead of appending new rows let's see if it can okay it, it has overridden the complete spreadsheet and now it has given us this button to replace content i'll click on this change is committed and there you go your topic your explanation and links and the possibilities are immense now you can do you can ask this ai copilot to do whatever like your taxes your uh, invoicing all of these different things that you manage in a google spreadsheet all these are now ai powered using this uh, copilot kit framework and uh, integrating tavili as well as your large language models and just like that installing a bunch of packages you know making sure that you are configuring your front end with the right components configuring your api your backend with tavili and your large language model define a bunch of custom actions that you have to perform and you have an ai powered application that's how easy it has become if you want to power your application with such ai capabilities integrate your front end with copilot kit's front end the components that they are providing configure it with their back end and there you go you have your final ai powered application just like we have ai powered google spreadsheets with us all right hope you enjoyed it i'll catch you guys in the next one until then keep learning and keep building with ai